Hi, and welcome to this Ventus Quick Tip video. I'm Dustin Rockford, a product specialist with Ventus Technology, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a snowflake particle effect system inside of Ventus Designer. Let's get started. So to begin with, we're going to need to start by creating a new project in Ventus Designer and by opening a, a new empty scene. Uh, to begin, we will start by adding an axis node to our hierarchy editor, followed by adding a particle system node to our hierarchy editor. After we've added our particle system node to the hierarchy editor, there's a few things we need to add to this in order to be able to get some graphics to draw down here in our render viewport. So the first thing we're going to need to add is over in the, the properties editor for the particle system here, we're going to click on the little plus in modules, and we're going to add a source emitter. And now we need a render so that we can actually see the particles. And for this demonstration, we're going to be using a mesh. So we're going to click on mesh, and you can see there, great. We have our source emitter and we have our mesh. And you can see the meshes are being drawn on the locations of all the particles. Now we're going to need to make some modifications to our source emitter here. So to do that, I'm going to click on manual for the transform here. I'm going to scale all, make that three. Wonderful. And then random position, we should increase so that the particles span the whole display. And then we will add some random speeds here. So for random speed uh, x, uh, 0 0.25, random speed y, 4.6, random speed z, 0 0.25, random speed all, uh, 0 0.42, and then for the rate, uh, we're gonna slow this way down. So I'll put that to like five and then lifetime. We want the snowflakes to stay around for a while. So I'll increase that to 30 and then jitter one. Great. Now that we have our source emitter set up, we need to start setting up the rest of this uh, simulation loop in our particle system. So to begin, uh, we'll click on this mesh that we had we had added before that is a cube, and we will link it to our snowflake geometry. So clicking on the cube guy here, clicking the little arrow next to where you see the icon for the primitive, we're going to click on mesh loader. And then now that we have the mesh loader uh, property selected, we're going to select one of our snowflakes and click open because it's a very small mesh, we're not gonna see very much of it first. So we're gonna have to increase the scale by a bunch. There, wonderful. So we've got particles and they look like snowflakes, but they are not behaving like snowflakes. We are going to need to add a simulation to our particle systems so that we can get some nice um, kind of organic motion for these particles when we're finished. So we'll drag the simulation loop um, so it's just before this mesh in the uh, particle stream here. And then once we've got the sim in here, we're going to uh, modify its, its friction to 0.38%. Great. Now, uh, this seems to have made things worse, but don't fear. We're going to add some more modules to this so that uh, things start animating and looking really awesome again in a second. So now that we have our simulation loop added, we need to add some directional gravity. This needs to be dragged again in front of the simulation loop. So when gravity is happening to the particles, it's actually being applied correctly. So for gravity, we want negative 70 and Y and for the amount 100%. Yeah, that looks great. Next, we're going to add some acceleration to these particles. We're gonna add that acceleration module right behind the gravity and for the acceleration we're going to modify our force sideways so that its value is 30 force upwards to 2 and then 5.3 for the upward force so great you can see these things are actually moving around a little bit now but still doesn't really look like real snow so we're going to add um, another module here this time it's going to be the rotate by euler angles and we are going to drag that to be right behind the acceleration. And similar to before, we're going to modify the properties for the rotate Euler angles module. So we're going to change the rotation for X, Y, and Z to be two. 
we're going to increase the speed from 0 to 0 0.2. And we are going to change the random speed to 3, amount to 11%, and the random amount to negative 3.5%. All right, cool. So now that we have some snow moving in a more organic way, we're going to add some uh, visual effects to this. So we're going to click on our module here yet again. We're going to add a gradient module. We're going to drag that guy in front of our mesh here, and then we're going to make a few modifications to this guy. So we're going to click on the little 1D gradient property here, and we're going to select the gradient that looks like it's going from white to blue. And then we're going to open this guy up and edit his gradient so that there's more white and less blue. So we click on the little arrow, drop this guy down, click on the three dots next to the gradient, and then we're going to take this little white square and we're going to drag him over so that there's just a little bit of blue at the end. Perfect. And then source is age, and then color and alpha. Perfect. So what this gradient is going to do is it's going to make the snowflakes that are towards the bottom of the screen appear to be a little bit more of like an icy blue color compared to the ones at the top of the screen, which adds a little bit of depth to your, to your composition, which is great. And now that this gradient set up, we're going to add a second gradient, and this one's going to behave a little bit differently. So again, drag this gradient in front of the mesh, and this time we are going to... Leave the gradient alone, but modify um, just the, the color properties a little bit again. So we'll, same as before, click little drop down arrow here, click the three dots next to the gradient, and then we'll drag this white block over so that there's only a little bit of black at the very end of the gradient. Perfect. And finally, we want the target for this, this gradient to be size. So essentially, as these particles age um, and are about to die, the, the snow fang flakes will then sort of shrink out of, out of view. Wonderful. We've got all of the simulation loop parts constructed. We've got gradients. Finally, we just need to add a little bit of noise. So we're going to put this noise in front of the mesh, and we're going to increase the amount, to, or going to decrease the amount to 25%. This will continue adding to the uh, bit of a turbulent look of the snowflakes falling. So now that we have this set up, uh, let's drag our particles up a little bit more. So by clicking on the axis and scaling, um, moving the position in Y, we can move the particles up a bit. Wonderful. So what's left now is to just add the remaining snowflake meshes. So the same as when we added the mesh at the beginning of the tutorial, you're going to want to add a module for each one of the pieces of geometry to the particle stream. You're going to need to browse to the file for that geometry for each one, and then you're going to need to select a manual transform for each one of them so that they don't all spawn in the same location. Now that you know how to build a nice looking snowflake simulation inside of Ventus, hopefully you can use what you've learned to add some holiday cheer to projects of your own. Thank you for watching this video and please check back to our channel for more in the future. Thank you.